I gave Scar to him Scar. I already lost anyway. The only way I could have done it was to catch him. I, okay, I got the burn. It's over. So the only way... You... Mm -mm. Yo, what's up guys? AFC Dino here and welcome to a new daily I'm gonna be continuing with the road to top 100. I'm recording guys. Um, he said I'm a big fan or something along those lines. Yeah. I see I'm recording or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be continuing the road to top 100. Gonna be using the same team until uh, we get there. If you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. Greetings from Mexico. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's going to be a poker base plus team link video on this team if you guys are interested. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. On my way to 5,000 subscribers, would like to hit it before the end of the year. I think we can do it. That all being said, let's hop right into the battle. There we go. So I saw a Cloister immediately there. Uh, once, if I do beat the Cloister, I think I will overpower him with my Mian Shao plus Glide Score. Uh, Weavile, of course, as well, because his Ice Type Resist is going to be Magazine. I don't see a. Oh, he has a Gastron as a ground type. I'm going to pivot my Rodom into the Cloister if it comes down to that one. But let's start it off with the. Mian Shao first as he leads Magnazone, which is pretty cool for me. Because I'll be able to knock off right here. Don't stay in versus me. I am a freaking Mian Shao, please. And he goes Gengar, and I knock this off immediately. Let's see what we'll get there. We knock off this guy. Boom, 23. He disabled me. Black Sludge. I'm going to use U turn if he stays in. Just to trap him. He uses Saw, but. I'm pretty curious here. Because I think... Does Weavile 2 at KO him with Icicle Spare? I think it does. I might be wrong though. Okay, 36. Actually, that's actually not enough. Then I'm better off going for... The Glide Score play. Because he's using subs, so I can just Earthquake here. And now I can pivot into Mian Shao. Because I can just knock up from here again. If I knock up Gastrod. Um, because. If I knock off Gastrodon, uh, that's the only thing that probably reliably comes in on Icicle Spear. Multiple times at least. He clicks Ice Beam, that's cool. I am clicking Close Combat there. I want to see how much it does. Because it's going to force the. This is going to force a Roost. Okay. You are annoying my, my guy. Oh my god, bro. Are you serious, bro? Are you actually serious, bro? Counter Gastro. Oh my god. Is that what he gets these days, too? I will Stealth Rock here. So I'm planning to win this game then with my. <laughs> as long as Rodom is alive, it's okay. But Gastrodon is going to be so extremely annoying to deal with, especially without my guy, so. <sighs> I might lose this. As I said, M Miensha was going to destroy him, but this is uh, this is no fun. There. Mandibus needs to defog at a certain point, so I'm gonna assume Mandibus comes in there. Probably helmet. From what I can see here. So he's gonna defog here. Okay. 
and I'm gonna stealth rock now again pressuring this guy because I'm getting leftovers if he doesn't because if he attacks me here my rocks are gonna stay up so that's what we're go that's what we're going off I already knocked off the gastro so that's going to be super helpful he knows I have time so I'm gonna dragon pulse right here Doing 35 there's no leftover so okay cool don't freeze me awesome my whole team can kill you cool my whole team can kill you aside from Rotom I guess so we're gonna pulse here again chance he comes in Stupid thing here is. I have to get in this. Don't don't teleport onto me, bro. Yeah. I'm getting up a free sword stance here. Mandy bus comes in. This means I can SD again. This means I can SD again and 2-hit kill him. Like we already know we already know how this goes. He's gonna fall play me. He might fall play me here. But oh he doesn't, okay. Cool. So he roost and this should be a 2-hit kill. Unless he's like max defense, probably. I don't know. We'll find out there. 49.3. That's actually not a yeah. Um Okay, I hate this shit. <laughs> this is annoying. I'm gonna go Weaver on this on the I hope he clicks foul play and I at least pressure him. He's like literally max defense. This is annoying. Fly <laughs> score is at 41 HP, so he's gonna die to uh and gonna die to uh seismic toes. It's not good. Oh, he stayed in though. Is he defogging? Two, three, four. Four hits. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do here. I have to really think about this. I think the play is to Icicle Spare again. Um. This cloister cannot set up on me, but at least Mandibus die, so next time I can get up rocks against something. Gastrodon is gonna die to me. And I just have to assume that he's gonna click Flash Cannon there. As I have a, gl have a Glide score. Okay. I'm gonna double into my uh, Glide score. Because him clicking flash cannon again might be rough, but I don't want him healing Gastro. He doesn't get any healing anyway. But if I can get this play right, it's gonna be helping so much. Otherwise, I have to go. If he's not choice carved, then it's gonna help me as well. Yeah, chance he comes in. But that's already a huge help. Being able to ro roost now. I will roost. Because I want to be able to switch into Magnezone with this. And I don't know if Gastron is to Stealth Rock because he is using Counter on him with Ice Beam. He's going to teleport here or go into Gastro. But there's nothing I can. I, I, I cannot stop that. But I needed him healed up. I will stealth rock now though. And then I'll slowly try to heal this guy. At least Gastrodon most likely doesn't have toxic. So me getting up the rocks here. Don't freeze me. Might help me uh, later. This sucks that it had to go like this. But uh, what can you do? Um, it's going to be a slow game. Dude, the, the counter really messed me up. I 
That was a crit too. Unless he doesn't have rocks on this, but I'm gonna go into Amoongus here. I wanna know if he has Toxic. Oh, it's just Ice Beam, okay. A Sludge Bomb here, in case he goes Chansey. Maybe get off a Poison. Because if he goes Chansey and I get a Poison... No, of course we don't get a Poison. I have to stall out the wishes, that's all I can do. And maybe he's not using a healing move on Gastrodon. Stop boil. Uh, basically what I can do is Swords Dance. Always go into Amoongus, uh, we heal it off. Okay, maybe I ne next time I just need to attack, but... Okay, you're playing with fire there, bro. <sighs> okay. Okay. He was really playing with fire there, bro. Staying in like that. If I got the poison up, that would have still been fine, but it is what it is. This already tells me he doesn't have an attack that hits me. He's gonna waste all his ice beams. But I want to know if he has, um, if he has scald. If he has scald, he can maybe thaw. But this rocks. That's annoying, bro. Whatever. It's rocks. Ice beam. I guess recover. And counter. But at least he doesn't touch my Rotom. Don't really want to pain split though. I'm gonna pain split when I'm really low. This uh, that's not bad. I'm gonna keep my PP on. Um, I'm gonna keep my PP on the. I'm not gonna volt switch there. The damage is not gonna add anything if he's gonna heal Chansey back up. This is good though. Because now I can Sword Stance. Because it, if he if he doesn't stay in there, Chansey will um yeah really low yeah exactly. My Rotom is full HP, so that's pretty good. Yeah, really the counter on Caster and really messed me up. I guess I could have just U turned. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. But yeah, he cannot be King's Rock. So, that, that doesn't work. Does he really want to do this? I'm not accomplishing anything here. I will still get to full HP. Okay. I'm really playing against a noob too, bro. Like, plus four eye shot is not going to do more to my Weavile. I'm still gonna live rocks. Yeah, I'm still gonna live rocks. Because I'm planning to win this game with Gliscor anyway. Wait, what? Doesn't Gengar just die here? Like, like crazy? Yeah. <laughs> 701 boys 701 
We're closing in. I'm gonna say, like, was it wasn't he going to die? Like, I shot was never gonna kill me, bro. I guess he was going off a crit on then or something. Yeah, these cheese threats just annoying. This is an annoying from team to face as well. Like the defensive guard jump into the fire thorn is just annoying. Pretty interesting team he has because it's pretty balanced out. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool team actually. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind for show, for show, for show. Um, to this, I have to say though, Glide Square really, really doing well into him. So. I see a Dragonite lead again, and that makes me think straight away. Um, this guy might be like Dra like a Draco set again. I'm faster. Hold up. Oh no. Oh, this I hate this shit, bro. <laughs> what am I? What, what is he gonna do? Oh my god, bro. Blackstar is literally gonna beat him, though. Go glass score. But I feel like he's, he's slower than me. I don't know. He just roosts. We're just trying to figure out his set, but he's showing roost. We don't die to ice beam, so me SD here. Uh, never mind, I died to Ice Beam. What the fuck is he live for? Oh my god, bro. We're not like this. I love. I think I just lose to this bullshit, bro. Max special attack with Roost. Are you kidding me? Next time I just knock him off with. Um, at least I know his Dragonite set now. But yeah, me losing Glide score is bad though. That's a banded scissor too. Because I'm really afraid of that guard jump now. Yeah, I, okay, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. I, now I know you're set, bro. Is it, you're not gonna be Ruse Dragon Dance Ice Beam. So. That means you're just get, you're gonna get walled by this. I'm just gonna knock you off here. Knock off your expert belt. Oh, that was your item. I could have you turned there, but I'm 20. Well, I can flinch him. Do you want to get flinched? I guess he doesn't I guess he didn't didn't mind getting flinched. It is what it is. I guess he do doesn't mind getting flinched from there. I wanna reveal HP ice, so I'm gonna volt switch there. Okay. So it's Dra it's a Draco set. Uh, those are his three attacks. I'll be able to paint split against him anyway. I'm gonna go Weavil. I wasn't sure there, but that's a bandit scissor, so I'm gonna take the most out of it. Out of it. One, two. Never mind. Could always be clicking U-turn on me. I need rocks. I need Hydreigon. Let's know that I'm gonna wall. I'm gonna wall the Dragonite. Like I will know. I'll be able to rock slide him next. Always gonna roost. Could have uh, maybe I should have gone hard weave out there. Uh, 
uh, yeah, like he doesn't fear a flinch, I guess. I'm gonna rook slide anyway, even if I hit guard chomp. Like he's playing with fire. I'll knock this off too. And because I don't take uh, iron barbs damage. Yeah, exactly. Doing the damage there. Oh, Rhythm now. Uh, I'm assuming he's just gonna get up his hazards so I can paint split on the next turn. Maybe I don't paint split though. Yeah, maybe I should paint split because I can get up rocks with High Dragon. Even if he power whips me here. Okay, because I still get the damage on him, so that's pretty that's pretty good. High dragon there. I think I just go for rocks. It's kind of pressure that guy. Maybe maybe he's gonna protect on me. I can go on Mungus next. But I have my rocks. Don't die to scissor, so I'm gonna flame air. I don't have a bullet point switch and I don't want to weaken my Among Us uh, for Gyarados. I'm going to keep him healthy for Gyarados. Because I can still win this. I can still win this. Now Draken can still heal too. But his, high, his uh, guard jump is going to be so scary to deal with though. Let's Gyarados here instead. I'm gonna go Among Us there. I literally have Among Us for this. Hopefully I can still use him against the Garchomp. I should so I, I was thinking about going for an attack, but I need to Sludge Bomb. I need to get the poison. I really hate to, to be in this situation, but it's all I can do. Come on. Poison him. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. I love you, Among Us. Let's endure. Because this is gonna put him in eye shard range. But he's gonna die on the next one. Which makes me wonder do I sack High Dragon here? It's an earthquake immunity. An earthquake immunity. This, I think I have to go for the double ender. I think that's the best play. Um, I, I didn't get it, but, but I had to go for it. Because that Ferrothorn is not gonna, not gonna heal enough. Going to this as he goes Rotom. Let's see if he defogs for us. Because I think Weavile can win this game, so I'm going to close combat here. Get the chip. Get the chip. Necessary chip. Give you both switches. Wait, if he's not defogged, then I can literally win now. I'm going to knock him here. I got the most amount of damage off there possible, so... Because, right, it's not... We defox, which is still helping me, I gotta say. Still gonna click close combat. 31.9, that's a huge crit. That's a huge crit. Because I still live there. 
And the only thing he can bring in is Garchomp, because my Weavile is going to win. Because Dragonite. I keep my Dragon, so I just let this die, I think. Of course, I miss. So Garchomp has to be Scarfed. But if I go High Dragon and he always goes Garchomp? I go into this. High school spear. Sex Dragon Knight probably, because he's slower than both. That's that's a throw, I think. Because that's gonna put him in ice shard range. But we still have to figure out if Garchomp is scarfed. But if Garchomp is scarfed, I, I think I lose. Unless unless I stay in on um, Dragon Claw and live. Your power whip, so I think I always go high dragon on you. You're gonna die to flamethrower. What I'm gonna do is double layer into. He would have gone guard if he was if he was scarfed. Okay, I know you're set now. And the HP on my uh, on my ferret when, uh, on my weaver doesn't matter. Is he uses power whip? Okay, yeah. Okay, then then I then I most likely win. Because if if Guardian was scarfed, he would have gone chomp. Yeah, cool. If Garchomp was Scarf, he would have gone Chomp. Let's just, let's just assume that, right? I already revealed Flamethrower. But he's not in the position. I give Garchomp a Scarf, I already lost anyway. The only way... I could have done it was to catch him. I, okay, I got the burn. It's over. So the only way... Mm -mm. I can still lose, technically, but... Um, I want to see if he's scarfed. Let's see how he plays. assume maybe he thought he wouldn't knock me out with from phil but we're gonna find out here because he might be banded too i will lock myself into high school spare though yeah that dragon knight said definitely annoying <laughs> roost it gets completely well by chance he of course but it's a pretty cool team he was scarfed yeah dragon cloud wouldn't have been enough to knock me out But he was scarfed. Yep. That's why I didn't go directly into the guy. But yeah, if I get two hits, I lose probably. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah, good. Does Weevil die to Earthquake, by the way? From Garchomp? I don't die to Earthquake from Phil, so that's actually really good. But if I didn't die from Earthquake from Phil, then I probably was better off. I don't know. I have to say. I probably was better off. Um, four. Pretty good, pretty good. 
It's a pretty decent game to end it off at though. I'm gonna queue up for one more. Be right back. Okay, we're back guys. Yeah, that Dragonite set. It's a valuable lesson. It's a valuable lesson. A Gliscor could die from Ice Beam. Yeah, it was max special attack, so of course I would die. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. It's okay. What is this rain team? Oh. Jeez. This is tough. It's annoying. That it might be Hurricane. Uh, Hurricane Salamence, which I literally have no good switch for. <laughs> All this stuff. If I if I had Rotom with, okay, actually, legit though. I'm gonna lead up with this guy. And I'm just clicking Dragon Pulse straight away. The reason I'm not clicking Rocks is if he goes Excadrill. And he actually probably U-turns here. That means uh, the Teleport is gonna be at 50 when it comes in. Kingdra comes in. And... Uh, he's clicking Draco or something. If he clicks Surf on me, I would have killed you with Dragon Ball, so... Yeah, exactly. Cool. Now I can get... Now I can get the momentum play going by... I... Uh, I just knock off here? What is he bringing in on me? Scizor? Knocking up is better. Well, if I knock up a Specs here, that would be beautiful. Because I definitely don't want to be dealing with Specs. Salamence not right now. Yeah, exactly. That Hurricane is going to hurt, brother. Huh. Ah, uh, me and Cho. Versus. Let's assume he's stim at Specs, because... Okay. And without the specs, I'm gonna still do 77, and I am at 62. I have to bring in my Rotom on the Hurricane. It's, it's my only play right now. I cannot let Miancha die. That's the only downside by removing the specs. Switching into all this bullshit is no fun. I'm gonna assume he's Draco on this. If he's Dragon Pulse, I'm just gonna cry here. Please be Draco. And I can at least. Oh god. Man! Give me a break, bro. Give me a fucking break, bro. Why the fuck did you click Hydro Pimp on my Rotom, bro? Oh, I, I probably should have just U-turned. He did confuse me though. If he didn't confuse me, I would have probably pain split it there. But do I die to Draco now from this? He's not life orb, so... I don't think I can compare it to... Okay, Drill comes in. Thank you. Thank God. Breaks the mold. Bring in the Glide Score. The rain is gonna end up to this turn. Because what I can do here is I can Sword Dance, and then I can hit Pelipper with the facade. My Pokemon are pretty much full HP now. Oh, there's no rain. There's no rain there, so I'm gonna facade here. Cause I, I know he has Hydro Pump, but there's no specs and there's no rain. If I can get a plus one facade on him. Yeah, 67. That's, that's extremely helpful. Obviously, I hope he misses here. We're gonna see. Oh, yes, he clicked Draco. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed. But minus two, I don't have to worry about uh, Hurricane d killing me. Don't confuse me. Then I can pursue this and be done with this guy. Let's go Weaver and pursue this. At least then I don't have to switch into him. I still have to switch into freaking Kingdra. Which is gonna be a pain. That was uh, awful for me. Yeah, his ability to click, really click Hurricane on my team stuff as well. I will bring in Amsterdam. Life score is low, but it had to be low. My U turn, I assume Pelipper comes in. Goes into Kingdra, okay. Very clicking Dragon Pulse. It's actually a really smart play if he goes for Dragon Pulse. What am I sacking here? I'm, I am going to need this because it's gonna. I am going to need Rotom as well. Defog, I guess. Get yeah, Rotom. Because he's gonna click Pulse, so if I Dra if I go High Dragon, then he's just gonna die. If I go. If I like Lyscore die, I might get overpowered by Excadrill. So it might be better to sack Weavile. Yeah, I think it's better to sack Weavile. Oh, okay, here's Draco. I will go Mian Shao now. Um, I need to get the HP back. I'm gonna U-turn. I assume Pelipper comes in. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna U-turn. Get HP back. I could go into High Dragon too, but Excadrill is still full. And what, I, what I'm going for here is going into Rotom. Because I'm gonna remove the rocks. This is gonna force a turn into Drill. If I had hard rope I would 100% click it here by the way. Just to, just to let you know. That guy. Crazy. Could have killed <laughs> could have killed this guy but I guess I guess he was so confident confident there. But it's okay. After Volt Switcher. It knocks me out with the Draco Meteor Specs. Spectacles. Ever. Now I get me and show at full HP. A close combat switch is going to be Pelipper. But I don't think Pelipper is going to come in on this, so. We're going to close combat here too. Because this is all rain that we are wasting. And he's going to feel comfortable here. Like he thinks, okay, I have enough HP. Then we're knocking him out with Rock Slide. As he goes Scissor, uh, not ideal. Okay. Well, it's not like Pelipper can heal on any anything, so... Have that going for me. I'll take a million from this attack. Got him pretty low, so next he cannot do this again against my Mian Chao. He has to click Stone Edge here. I'm just gonna try to play around there. And this has to be Life Warp. Like, does he want, really want to miss Stone Edge here and lose? I guess he does. Well, 
The rain stopped. But if I lose Amoongus, what happens? This is faster, this is faster. So, how do I win? If... Okay. He's gonna Giga. I'm not clicking Ender because I don't want a developer coming in. Going into High Dragon there. If he lets me get up rocks, maybe I can win. Should be second the developer. I think I lost anyway. <laughs> this one was way too tough for me to break. It's just because I had to deal with two hurricane users. Just gonna hope he's clicking Draco here. Because then I can still utilize something. It's gonna do too much damage to me. Unless... Hold up. I think Lyscore is gonna die too. Lyscore. I think Lyscore is gonna die to Specs King Dreadtoon. Dragon Pills. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die. He has all those priority moves. Wait, I killed him. I crit him. Oh, God. This might still be a win. Oh, he's going extra drill anyway. He should be going drill and rapid spin on me. Wait, he choked. That's a choke, that's a choke, that's a choke. No, it's not a choke. Because he's gonna bullet. And then he's gonna win. No, it's not it's not a choke. He has enough rain turns, unfortunately. I didn't I, I wasn't able to stall enough rain turns. Well, if it's jet kabutops maybe? No, because the excadrill just comes in and clicks earthquake. Yeah. Don't have enough turns. Tough man. Let's hope he doesn't have superpower and just misses Stone Edge or something. A oh, waterfall should still kill me. Yeah. Hey, okay. how could I've played this differently? That was never really a way of me removing rocks. Because Excadrill gets him up and I click Earthquake on my Rotom. Maybe if I clicked Endure. I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a tough one to say. Like, I had to deal with two special attackers on rain. Well, I and I got rid of both. But yeah, the Salamis. Maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have used knock. Maybe I should have just U-turned, kept the momentum uh, when I had my main show in, because I knocked. Then Salamis came in. I did did knock off the choice bags, but that didn't help me because it because of that. Um, Salamis was able to switch up moves. Because I could have still maybe outplayed by bringing in Rotom on Hurricane and Pain Splitting or something. That's tough because 
the the excadrill um the excadrill uh, on his team basically if i go high dragon and i click stealth rock and he u-turns that excadrill comes and then he gets a free rapid spin because i don't do anything when he because he can just rapid spin he doesn't take anything from flamethrower unless i have a, unless i have focus blast so i have to dragon pulse the developer in, in that case but then i have to switch into one of his mods which is also not ideal it's just really tough it's really tough uh like if it's only one rain special attack sweeper we can deal with kingdra but we have to deal with the Salamence and the kingdra <laughs> so this was tough but uh yeah thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next one